Rockerbox DJ version 6. The new playlist application just came out from the Pioneer DJ for all DJs actually using the Pioneer DJ equipment. This is cool stuff coming out with this new version and also some counts. Let's break this down all together and see what we get from it. First of all, the new version is not compatible with the old version. Actually, if you have the version 5 and you want to install the version 6, you got to keep your version 5 as well because they can both work at this, I mean, not at the same time. They can both work, but for different reasons. First of all, you got to put in your head that the new version, the new features that you have in new version are you have to pay for subscription. If you're a DJ that you already been using, uh, any equipment from uh, Pioneer DJ, like having a, a controller, DJ controller, and you already have your license key, even though you need to pay subscription to get this a new version, to get the new features, if you want. So let's break this down all together here and see what we get new. So first, during the installation, it will ask you to convert to the library of the Rocker Box 6. It will take some time you let it go for like an hour to convert maybe less it depends on the speed of your computer and when it's convert you continue the installation and then when you have it open first thing you do is to go to my page and in my page you gotta go here on plan and make sure that your plan is activated over here it means the subscription plan you need to pay click on it it will redirect you directly to Rockerbox website where you have to subscribe at the moment they give uh, one month free trial and then uh, it costs 9.99 euros per month until 13 of july and after that it will pass to the price of 14.99 and also you need to do your uh, library sync plan is also another subscription that you need to do on the dropbox so also i've been logging here into my dropbox i already had my um, subscription out there remember that you have two gigabytes for free and if uh, if you need more space and of course you will need more space so then you need to subscribe for uh, dropbox subscription monthly and it, my plan is around nine euros per month so when this is done first then you get everything connected and you see here it gets all my playlists that I have uh, back on uh, record box 5 and if I pick up any playlist over here I can see for example like in podcasts whatever I can see here in this line this question mark what does it mean this question mark it means that your track is not analyzed yet so you just first click right and make sure to analyze track it take few seconds and here we go it's almost there yes it comes so you see the question mark is gone it means your track it got analyzed so you get all the tag ids uh, fresh and this another icon that you have over here see this here this is the cloud for the dropbox it means when it's like crossed like this it means my track is not synced with my dropbox yet so again i click right and I go into Cloud Library Sync and upload it to Dropbox. So it comes here, it says either you move or you copy. Make sure that you think about this before you move, because when you move it, it means it will not exist on your hard drive or your computer anymore. It will be moved into the cloud. So if you want to use Rockerbox 5, later on for any reasons the tracks will be moved and you will not find them anymore also there is another thing that maybe in one day if you don't have the cloud on and you want to have your tracks on your computer then you're in trouble so i will keep one copy in my hard drive and a copy uh, on the dropbox so see here the icon changed it means that my track is also synced with my dropbox of course, if you want to analyze and upload to the cloud all the tracks all together, you select Shift first and then you select All. Click first um, Analyze Track. Yes. And then you click also Upload into the uh, library sync to Dropbox. So they will, and I will say Copy. And of course, the speed is also related to the speed of your internet connection and your computer. One more cool feature is how to relocate your track automatically. So this track is missing when you see this exclamation point, it means it's missing. 
click right and auto relocate it will just go and look for it in all your drive and of course you can also choose a relocate track in your hard drive if you have an idea where is it you can just choose one of the the folders if you don't know then you just uh, ask for auto relocate and give it some time to scan the whole drive and it will find it this is really saving time and saving life i love this function one more thing you have it's the three band waveform that can be very useful if you want to uh, see the difference between the low medium and high frequencies to see this just go to the uh, wheel over here and the view you scroll down and here for the color you choose three band okay that's it you come back and you see the color of your track completely it ch has changed so the blue go for the low frequencies the amber color goes for the mid frequencies and the white uh, color goes for the high frequencies that can be helpful when you're playing and maybe you see when you have your drop or it can be also uh, very nice to know we also have the possibility to change the uh, the color of the, the application so you want to go from the dark into the white uh, color also you go back here to the wheel and the view you scroll down until you see here the color skin you change the skin color from dark to light this can be very helpful if you play in outdoor festivals in the daylight and you don't have really a nice view on your screen that can be very useful but as you see it's a little bit harsh for me now and i'm used to the dark one so i will go back to my old color dark yes one more cool feature if you're not familiar with the infinite uh, promo system is uh, one of the world largest music platform delivery service that is used actually by the most uh, major and independent labels all around the globe uh, with the rocker box you can uh, link your account uh, your infinite account so all the promos that you have received show in the library you can choose which one you want to import or just enable the sync uh, system to include every song that you have received this is a brilliant uh, feature for DJs for pro DJs who rely on the promo for their music collection so how to do this go again here into the wheel come back go a little bit down and you see here inflict so you just activate the mode here close this and here you go back you go down and you can see your Inflit account is here so I have already been uh, syncing my account over here and if I click on all the promos that actually oh, loading is loading everything so okay so I have everything here that I have received if I want any track here I just download it and you can see here on my download folder over here uh, the tracks that I'm downloading this is can be very useful for pro DJs especially those who are receiving promos from all the labels and basically it works the same way with the Beatport link and uh, SoundCloud actually both streaming services that are integrated into the record box 6 if you have an account you just link is the same way and you just import all your tracks on those platforms it works more or less the same I cannot show you here because I don't have it sorry guys so this is it this is all things that actually I think are really uh, interesting in this new version and of course for all of these things you need to have a subscription mode you gotta pay for this every month and of course make sure that to remember this if you make any changes in the version 6 it doesn't affect the version 5 you can keep them both but they don't work all together as i said why you converting the libraries because they don't have any more the same library but they do have the same source of the tracks so if you upload all your tracks into dropbox and you sync with different computers and your iphone as well make sure to not delete the files from your computer why because if you delete the tracks from your computer the version 5 will be having missing files and you will not find them anymore so just keep that in mind except if you're also in the version 5 you have your tracks on dropbox as i do so i don't have the same thing with the version 5 but i still have my backup in uh, my dropbox so in case if i lose my computer or get stolen I still have my tracks saved even though if you have a hard drive flash hard drive it's also good to have it on Dropbox I think the cloud is very interesting to consider if you want to have 
your backups and make sure that you never, never lose your tracks or your playlists. So the question here is who is in need of this version 6? In my opinion, I think it's more suitable for digital DJs. The DJs are using their computer to play. Why? First, it's because you can use the streaming service and you can add tracks into your own playlist. And that is awesome, actually. This is something really useful. Second of all, it's like you are able to sync three computers plus your iPhone. Maybe you only have two, you have one computer in your studio and the computer that you're performing with. So maybe if you want to do your changes in your studio, you have them directly up to date into your computer. This is also something cool. The third thing about the iPhone, who's going to use an iPhone uh, to play in a club or in a festival? Maybe things are changing while 2020 and you never know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Comment below, tell me what you think. If you have experienced anything with this version, I would love to hear your own experience. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.